The Actions panel can be found on the Workspace dock depending on which Photoshop workspace you have set. Look for the symbol that looks like a little play button. It usually is collapsed and very small as it is not a frequently used panel. If the Actions panel is not currently available on your workspace, you can always choose Actions from the window drop-down menu. It is important to identify the buttons and settings on the Actions panel, but more important to understand what role they play in the Actions process. The graphic on screen identifies the Actions panel settings and buttons you should become familiar with in this lesson. Starting in the top left corner and continuing clockwise, I will go through each one. Actions are stored on the Actions panel either as standalone actions or as part of an action set. An action set is a fancy name for a folder containing multiple actions. It may seem irrelevant now, but to make your life as easy as possible, I would recommend always creating new actions within an action set. There are some things you'll want to do in the future that can only be done via action sets. The check marks on the left side of the panel are actually quite helpful. They allow users to toggle action commands on and off. This is helpful when you have an action that does everything you need it to do, but maybe has a few additional steps you don't need. If you don't need a step, but you still want to apply the rest of the action, simply uncheck that step in the action. The square at the bottom of the actions panel is the stop button. It will either stop playing an action or stop recording an action depending on what you are currently doing. With that being said, there is little to no chance you will be able to stop an action that is currently playing. Actions play very fast. It'll probably be finished applying before you can even get the cursor over to the stop button to stop it. You will, however, use this button to stop recording new actions. It is incredibly important to stop your recording when you are done or else you'll be recording a slew of steps you weren't intending to include in your action. The circle button is used to start recording an action. The triangle is the play button. Select any action on the actions panel and press this button to have the steps applied to the document you are currently have open. The folder is used to create new action sets. And don't forget, I highly recommend always creating new actions within action sets. So the first thing you'll want to do is create an action set and then use the new action button, which is the next one on the right, to create a new action. The little piece of paper with the corner turned up is the universal Adobe icon for new. Since we are on the Actions panel, it is considered the New Action button. If we are on the Layers panel, it would be a new layer, or in the Swatches panel, it would be a new swatch, etc. Last but not least, the last icon on the right-hand side of the panel is the Trash Can. You can select an action or an action set, or even a step within an action, and then press this icon to delete it.